On tonight's Bullseye in America, a stove that will burn a hole in your wallet. It's $14,000. It's a stove oven combo, so it does have both, uh, <laughs> although it doesn't have any temperature controls. 750,000 have already been sold worldwide. What do you get for all that cash? Well, Nanette Hansen has done the reporting. Nanette. You want to say it with me? Aga. 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 I can do it. Aga. All right. You can do it. And it has got a price tag in the mint teens. So why is the well-heeled set so gaga for the Aga? Well, as you will see, it's considered trendy yet classic. In fact, it was designed 80 years ago by a Nobel-winning physicist who wanted to unite beauty and function with efficiency. Take a look. Um, this one, as shown, is just over $14,000. And you can say that with a straight face. Absolutely. You know you're not in Kansas anymore when you see the Aga Cooker, a 1,300-pound cast iron behemoth. Clearly no Kenmore in price or design, the Aga boasts four ovens, each set to permanent temperatures. Void of traditional burners or broiling element, there are warming plates instead. Hey, make pancakes without the pan. No preheating needed either. The 15,000 BTU burner stays on all the time cooking with constant radiant heat how about slow roasting a juicy thanksgiving bird overnight while you sleep you can with an aga a favorite of royalty the agas made in england by aga food service group whose annual household and commercial kitchen sales exceed 520 million dollars with a net income of 31 million in the age of sub-zero filled upscale kitchens the all-in-one aga is priced to try and take a bite out of the high-end u.s appliance market just a cooktop is about 4,000. The double wall ovens are about 6,000. You'll need a warming drawer and you'll need a hood. So you're going to get up to the 12 to $15,000 mark before you know it. Dana Harding is one of only 17 East Coast Aga vendors at upscale homestyle store Domain, which expects to sell more than 125 Agas in the Northeast by the end of the year. A culture unto itself. There are Aga magazines, Aga cookbooks and classes. Yes, even a little book of Aga tips. Once hooked, your goose is cooked. Over in Europe, when people move, they take their kitchen, they take the aga. Pat Devonzo plans yeah, to do the very same like thing with aga. his nine-year-old aga. Fourteen grand gets you a custom color. Martha Stewart got hers in signature green. The aga can cook a bunch of things all at the same time. We cooked pasta, salmon, steak, quesadillas, asparagus, toast, even cookies in a matter of minutes. The traditional four of an aga is always on, 365 days a year, 24-7. And let's face it, it is expensive. But if it's out of your range... No pun intended. Guess what? There are other versions that are a whole lot lighter on your wallet, too. Foreign change will buy the more conventional dual-fueled steel aga legacy, but 60% of Domain's aga sales are for the traditional big-ticket aga cookers, guaranteed to last 100 years. For 14 grand, one surely would hope so. And take heart, it needs no hood, and due to constant heat, carbonizing spills, it does clean itself. <laughs> Not exactly an impulse buy, and there are financing plans in place through some vendors. For instance, you can break down the payments monthly for up to a year, but most people, I am told, pay cash. A couple of questions occur Shoot. to one and when learning about this oven. One, uh, safety, if one has forget guests, children, dogs, and the like, uh, how safe is it to have a perpetually burning stove, and how much energy does it consume? Okay, let's start with the safety issue. Um, it, it, interestingly, clearly, it's, it's cooking inside, but uh, as, as for the exterior, it's warm to the touch, but you wouldn't burn yourself if you just touch the surface. Um, you, an AGA technician will come to your house and inspect the site before you purchase to see if the floor can withstand the weight, um, if it can be vented, because not everybody's a candidate. And nor would you want one in a small space because it's radiant heat and it does in a great country house, you know, it, it really warms up the kitchen, but in an apartment, wouldn't work. Not so good. Beach house, probably be a little toasty in mm -hmm. the summer on a muggy day. Energy consumption? Energy consumption, good question. Okay, the one we featured, which is the traditional four oven cooker, gas powered. They tell me it's the equivalent of running a 15,000 BTU gas water heater, which is also on constantly, about a buck a day. If you're in an area where you have propane gas, more expensive. They are coming out with an electric cooker, so electric would tend to be a little bit more than that as well. A heck of an oven. Thank you very much, Nanette. Uh, consumers spend over $700 million a year attempting to control...
costs $14,000 and it doesn't even have temperature controls. But the Aga cooker is considered by some to be the Rolls Royce of kitchen appliances. In today's closing bell close up, Nanette Hansen shows us what all the fuss is about. This one, as shown, is just over $14,000. And you can say that with a straight face. Absolutely. You know you're not in Kansas anymore when you see the Aga Cooker, a 1,300-pound cast-iron behemoth. Clearly no Kenmore in price or design, the Aga boasts four ovens, each set to permanent temperatures. Void of traditional burners or broiling element, there are warming plates instead. Hey, make pancakes without the pan. No preheating needed either. The 15,000 BTU burner stays on all the time. Cooking with constant radiant heat. How about slow roasting a juicy Thanksgiving bird overnight while you sleep? You can with an AGA. A favorite of royalty, the AGA's made in England by AGA Food Service Group, whose annual household and commercial kitchen sales exceed $520 million, with a net income of $31 million. In the age of sub zero filled upscale kitchens, the all in one AGA is priced to try and take a bite out of the high end U.S. appliance market. Just a cooktop is about 4,000. The double wall ovens are about 6,000. You'll need a warming drawer and you'll need a hood. So you're going to get up to the 12 to $15,000 mark before you know it. Dana Harding is one of only 17 East Coast AGA vendors at upscale homestyle store Domain, which expects to sell more than 125 AGAs in the Northeast by the end of the year. A culture unto itself. There are AGA magazines, AGA cookbooks and classes. Yes, even a little book of AGA tips. Once hooked, your goose is cooked. Over in Europe, when people move, they take their kitchen, they take the aga. Pat Devonzo plans yeah, to do the very same thing the with the his aga. nine year old aga. Fourteen grand gets you a custom color. Martha Stewart got hers in signature green. The aga can cook a bunch of things all at the same time. We cooked pasta, salmon, steak, quesadillas, asparagus, toast, even cookies in a matter of minutes. The traditional four of an aga is always on, 365 days a year, 24 7. And let's face it, it is expensive. But if it's out of your range, no pun intended. Guess what? There are other versions that are a whole lot lighter on your wallet, too. Foreign change will buy the more conventional dual fueled steel AGA legacy, but 60% of Domain's AGA sales are for the traditional big ticket AGA cookers, guaranteed to last 100 years. For 14 grand, one surely would hope so. And take heart, it needs no hood, and due to constant heat, carbonizing spills, it does clean itself. As for energy costs, that's the biggie, right? Well, currently the traditional AGA cookers are powered by natural gas. Figure it costing roughly a dollar a day, similar to a 15,000 BTU gas water heater. An electric version, traditional cooker is due out very soon, but aside from price, they're not for everybody because they're always burning. They emit a lot of heat. Great for cold days, probably not the best idea for your Hamptons kitchen, unless you don't mind cranking up the AC on those hot, muggy summer days. And they do require venting, so virtually impossible in apartments, even if the structure could withstand the 1,300 pounds of cast iron weight. Lots to think about, but that looks really interesting. It was fun to cook with. Yeah. I don't know how much I would use one if I had one. I'd love to have one. If you want to buy me one, <laughs> then it wouldn't matter how much I used it. Thank you. Think about I'll it. consider that. <laughs> Nanette Hansen on the AGA. Really good story, Nanette. Thank you for that. We'll be right back with more Closing Bell.